Now I'm presenting my research about effects of goal setting on intrinsic motivation and self-efficacy in excellence leading outside the classroom. This is today's outline. First, I'll review the definitions of the key terms in this study. Then I'll show you research gaps and research questions. After that, research methods, results, and also conclusions and limitations are followed. But first, let's check the definition of extensive leading. According to Day and Bamford, extensive leading is an approach to the teaching and learning of second language leading, in which learners lead large quantities of books and other materials that are well within their linguistic competence. On the other hand, the idea of extensive leading is often compared with intensive leading. According to Palmer, when learners lead intensively, they take a text, study it line by line, referring at every moment to our dictionary and our grammar, comparing, analyzing, translating, and reflecting expression that it contains. Next key terms in this study are related to motivation. First, in terms of intrinsic motivation, according to Dace and Lyon, this term is defined as the doing of an activity for its inherent satisfaction rather than for its some separable consequence. The other term is self-efficacy. Bandula referred to this time as people's beliefs in their capabilities to exercise control over their own functioning and over events that affect their lives. The last key idea is goal setting theory. Locke and Lansom regard goals as the object or aim of an action. Based on that, they explain the theory that people, sorry, people who are highly committed to specific, difficult, and attainable goals can perform better on goal relevant activities. While focusing on this theory, there are three attributes. There is goal specificity, goal difficulty, goal commitment. First, goal, uh, sorry, specific goals provide precise details for what is to be attained. Goal difficulty specifies the level of performance. And the goal commitment is the degree to which people wish to attain their goals. So setting specific, difficult, and attainable goals is likely to increase individual motivation and self-efficacy rather than who set vague and easy goals. Based on these key ideas mentioned above, I found one gap that is lack of research investigating extensive leading outside the classroom. In terms of increasing attention to learning outside the classroom, Benson pointed out because of new digital contexts and increasing awareness of less success to out of class opportunities. In addition, Hilomori mentioned that in Japanese educational setting, there are gaps between expected hours to acquire English and actual hours to learn English in Japan. Furthermore, in Mikami's limitations and further research, it pointed out plenty of research exists investigating extensive leading in classroom. However, more research should be needed to explore students' extensive leading engagement outside the classroom. Based on these descriptions, I set three research gaps in the current study, uh, sorry, three research questions in the current study. First is, how do goal specificity, goal difficulty, and goal commitment affect students' intrinsic motivation and self-efficacy? in extensive leading outside the classroom. Second, 
how did the participants set their goals in excellence of reading outside the classroom? And how did the participants use their goals in excellence of reading outside the classroom? And how did the goals, uh, how did goal setting influence their motivation? First research question was investigated through a quantitative way. The other two research questions were investigated through a qualitative way. In revealing the first research question, I set a hypothesized model to be tested based on Mikami 2017. This model means the five factors, which are goal specificity, goal difficulty, goal commitment, intrinsic motivation, and self-efficacy are related to each other. About participants in the quantitative phase, 49 first year university students were joined, including six males and 43 females. They measured in English and attended general English classes during the first semester in 2021. Then their native language is Japanese. As materials, I used two six-point record scale questionnaires. This was based on Mikami 2017. I collected, I collected the data through Google Forms. I analyzed the data by SEM with two analytical tools, which were SPSS and AMOS. When testing the hypothesized model by SEM, using a fit, using a variety of fit indices are recommended. Therefore, in this study, I used three fit indices. About methods in a co qualitative phase, four participants were selected, including one male and three females. The criterion to choose them were mean scores. So two participants had high mean scores and the other two had low mean scores. As materials, interview items were based on Mikami 2020. There were five items and the data were collected through semi-structured interviews with Zoom. In analyzing the data, I asked one postgraduate student in another university who measure English education to check, to check the course title in order to increase the validity. Also, steps for analyzing qualitative data are based on one resource book. It recommended that the three steps, which means data condensation, data display, and the conclusion drawing. So I followed these steps. This table shows a result of Klumbach alpha coefficient of the five variables. The scores of goal difficulty and goal commitment were relatively low. However, even if, even if any items were deleted, the results were not improved. So I decided to keep them. This table means the scores of means, standard, standard deviation, and the correlations between the variables. The mean scores of goal difficulty and intrinsic motivation are relatively high. On the other hand, the score of self-efficacy was lowest. In terms of scores of correlation, Goal specificity had a moderate correlation with goal commitment. And also goal difficulty had a moderate significant with intrinsic motivation. On the other hand, goal specificity had weak correlations with goal difficulty. And goal difficulty had a weak correlation with self-efficacy.
I conducted confirmatory factor analysis about goal scale in order to test constant validity. The figure shows results about goal scale using four items about goal specificity, three items for goal difficulty, and five items of goal commitment. However, our pass coefficient between goal specificity and goal difficulty was not significant. Therefore, the pass was removed and I reanalyzed. Besides, the two items, fourth and fifth items about goal commitment, can be considered similar in terms of not being aware of their own progress. So I figured out there was a correlation between two items. In addition, I also conducted confirmatory factor, factor analysis about motivational scale. This figure shows results about motivational scale using three items about intrinsic motivation and five items about self-efficacy. As a result of two confirmatory factor analysis, this figure is a final version of structure equation model with standardized estimates. Results for, results for first research question was that only, only goal difficulty had direct effects on both intrinsic motivation and self-efficacy. Goal commitment had a direct effect on intrinsic motivation, but not self-efficacy. Goal specificity didn't have direct effects on either motivational factors, but had indirect effects on self-efficacy through goal commitment. Then in order to answer second research question, the analysis of the interview data revealed that students set three types of goals, that is high level goals, step-by-step -step goals, and minimum goals. I found that those who have high motivation tended to set higher goals, such as higher level goals or step-by-step -step goals. On the other hand, those who had low motivation tended to set lower goals, which mean what teachers assigned them. In addition, I found out three rows of goals from interview data, which were motivator, criterion towards the next, and pacemaker. In addition to these findings, I found out effects of goal setting towards motivation. They were developing motivation, sense of achievement, and relief from pressure. So when considering these two findings, for those who have high motivation, even if they set a little higher goal, they were motivated so they could attain them. Through these experiences, they felt a sense of achievement and were motivated more. On the other hand, the low motivated participants felt relieved from pressure once they finished reading one book every week. So this experience didn't lead to the next. As conclusion, goal difficulty had direct effects on both intrinsic motivation and self-efficacy. Second, goal commitment had a direct effect on self-efficacy. Third, goal specificity had an indirect effect on intrinsic motivation through goal commitment. Fourth, students with high motivation and appropriate goals, depending on situation, can keep extensive reading outside the classroom. And students with low motivation and not planning their learning 
don't have less opportunity to feel a sense of achievement. And also limitations. First, uh, more data in a quantitative phase needed have been collected. And these studies participants were ill-balanced. And I have only a short period for students' engagement in extensive reading outside the classroom. Finally, as further research, in this study, students' engagement in extensive reading is regarded as a part of their grades. So if the engagement is not included in a part of their grades, is there any difference compared to this study? And also, this study doesn't focus on the process of extensive reading with the overall use of metacognitive strategy. So with the focus on metacognitive strategy in extensive reading outside the classroom, more beneficial findings will be expected. And here are references which I refer to in this presentation. Thank you for listening.